Hello everyone, it's Peter here, Peter Fistner. How are you doing guys? Hello. So, uh, I haven't done any update from AliExpress purchases because uh, life is busy, I'm not into purchases as, as I don't have a need, uh, I don't buy so much, I just upgraded my microscope and I'm rewiring here to not carry everyday batteries from outside, I mean from, from the sitting room, so I need to finish my setup to from solar panels to get everything properly to mount new controller which has more amps that's 100 amps I don't believe in it but okay it was cheap on Aliexpress oh, my camera yeah the, I bought this small camera I'm testing it because I want to have something outside for the postman as you can see it's it's working the quality like for the price of few quid it's it's worth yes but is it you know like awesome no uh, it has infrared it has audio it has so the like a night sort of night vision and uh, you can say this of course don't expect a lot from it it has a battery now that will switch on on switch off no it won't i need to press and hold to switch off oh that yeah that's all off but okay it doesn't matter we will we will waste only time on it um what i want to say is let's switch it off so yeah so i need to install this controller i need to get the wire because i've got it through window so i need to i need to make sure that the wire will be permanently out so from tools i bought this container on Aliexpress I want to test it it's promising looks promising uh, so you can put main board here for the phone a few items like a camera or lenses yes here um, you can put phone case here with a screen and here you can put all the screws with some maybe battery or something just you quit not dear one but I can say it looks promising so we will see if it will be nice solution maybe i would buy more of them uh, and boost converter that's supposed to be 500 watts i don't believe so continuous 250. um i would say that i don't know if i would like to see it if you don't want to have 250 continuous <laughs> but I've checked it, it's working, it's fine, uh, it's cheap, I can't tell you exactly, I'll pause and we will check how much it was. Okay, so we can see that this boost converter, I bought two of them and I've paid for two of them 951, yeah, so it's cheap because it's less than five pounds. Now, I'm using these things, back and boost converters, yes, uh, as they are, you know, like, cheap, uh, it's better to know order them rather than do them the only ones which i would do is the ones which have more power yes yeah, that, that box was 361 that's not super cheap um and there are a few items and that's you see 1082 1082 for five items and socks <laughs> A LED for outside for outdoor with a solar panel so I don't need to buy batteries for it so that's great and it's really bright like awesome bright and there are pen, two pen drives and this camera yes so it's you know for like one two three four five items ten pounds I'm using these pen drives I just yesterday I saw the customer uh, his backup data I've copied onto one of those and and I, I've sold it, yes, so I'm, I'm using them, yes, I'm using them because I'm backing up data for customers and then I'm, I'm using these, so every so often I'm buying them. So yeah, five items, so two pounds per each, you can say. It's it's worth, you know, it's worth the money. So at the end of the day, uh, I don't do purchases if I really don't need to. Uh, and then every so often I will buy pen drives, every so often I will buy SD cards, micro SD cards and SSD uh, disks yes usually these are 500 uh, gig and one terabyte sometimes just some things can be two terabytes but I 
don't try to stock those uh, the prices can drop and the cost is quite still high um, of course two terabytes from china is cheaper you know than from the uk it's much cheaper but still you know it's it's not that cheap so if i have i have let's like, say one maximum yes usually zero <laughs> so those those things i stock and the rest is just ongoing basis now back and boost converters i need one back converter from 24 volts to 12 volts uh, and i need at least 200 watts maybe even more so let me check prices okay and i can tell you right now that 200 volt amper which it's 35 pounds for me to get toroidal 90 plus percent efficiency uh, so the best quality yes 300 watts is only 41 pounds 500 uh, volt amperes 60 yes 780 pounds uh, 1000 volt amperes 1000 watts it's 98 pounds that's the price for me so i think i'll go for 300 volt amperes and i'll do back converter because the dearest part in a back converter is this steroidal i could do it on mosfets and i could do it on coils i could do you know but you've got this um, I, I like quality of the toroidal and it can work on, on 100 degrees even then has a fuse built in so you can't literally like easily burn it plus you can use uh, you can I think I will be able to use EGS002 uh, because it has all the uh, overcurrent over voltage protection feedback yes so I, I won't have to program it from scratch so I can use transformer i can use egs002 and i can use few a uh, few components for it chris can do me the the coils needed for it and i would say i will go for the 300 watts so there will be apart from the inverter there will be as well um one back converter of a higher efficiency because people who have um like me 24 volt system here solar charger yes and 24 volt system these people might be saying okay but i've got only 12 volt battery and what to do so they need 24 volt inverter but if they are using the solar system only for lightning uh, which they can use 12 volts and they can use as well Mm, like 3d printers or something that like my scope yes 12 volts and you don't need 24 volts or you don't need 230 volts then for those uh, applications you know it's good to have step down to 12 volts and i need one because of that yes uh, i know that my scope my ring light here this is this is five no this is 10 volts minimum 10.8 minimum that's up to 12 volts as well this light yes because i've opened it the other day and i've checked it and then what else then the small cheap chinese inverter which usually gets up to 100 watts and it's fine and so i don't overuse it and then my uh, my other stuff here you know all of it it's run on 12 volts and i don't need 230 volts the only 230 volts i'm using it's for well, even this monitor is 24 or 9 volts so if i need 29 i can get from this you know just 24 volts here and i can get this to 29 volts if that's the case because this monitor does use 24 or 29 volts so boost converter you see ideal uh, and 230 volts i'm only using for the pc now my audio system which i can switch to 12 volts because that's creative uh, to, to plus one at the moment and uh, it's not the greatest voice so i i'm waiting when i will build the inverter <laughs> then i will use my regular hi-fi from sony 
because the the audio quality that one is okay the monitor speakers are pathetic but that's okay but that you know the range of those speakers everything you know it's 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 no it's no so anyways you see i need not only the inverter but i need as well um back converter so yeah so i will order that uh, toroidal when it will come uh we will build circuit probably you know like just to make it working and then once i have it and it will be working uh, i'll first time in my life i will design a pcb uh, or ask someone maybe to design for me and then uh, we will print it i'll make it available as well as open source and people will be able to to use it if that's what they want i can make available uh, transformers as well for that circuit that's not a problem or you can go uh, and buy transformer yourself i think i'll do this 300 watts because it's even if i would use all of the devices apart from the hot air i won't be using um, more than 200 watts about 200 maybe 220 uh, even my pc takes like 80 watts with audio it's taking like 100 watts on my work not on playing games then soldering iron can take a lot up to 50 60 watts sometimes jumping only peak time for 70 watts then the microscope then this yes yeah, so you know so i can use over 200 watts but 300 watts never and that's continuous 300 watts so that will be enough whereas 200 watts wouldn't be enough so i need to go for 300 watts uh, so that's that's the plan now about the inverter uh, i've managed to start it for those who haven't seen it and uh, i see that the values of the components are incorrect so whoever is following electronobs of on the inverter they will be having issues uh, i found which components are not the same as those small chinese um, inverters there are differences and i will be now swapping trying to swap i need to only do small few things and catch up with jobs for customers and i will be able to to tell you exactly i will record a recording with a good one working when i will find time and i'll show you what i see on the schematics at electronops and what i've put and what doesn't work and then what i replaced it with yes so my correction to electronops how i understand it maybe i will be wrong maybe it won't work maybe i will have to ask somebody for help we will see but I already see differences and I already see why this might not work and why it was giving me weird noises that's the frequency by the way uh, so yeah I'm learning now in my spare time about this EGS002 it's quite interesting circuit to be true and it can be used for for many projects like uh, not only inverters but by back converters as well yes uh, for instance as I need one and that's it that's everything in this video you see an update I've created this uh, scope uh, this TV came back behind me I've replaced power supply because it was showing 24 volts on the uh, backlight and it was working for three weeks on the second power supply which I've ordered from eBay and it's the same story so I said to the customer look we've ordered use power supply and we can still send it so you just cover the cost of sending and, and difference to buying new one well new one next one but if it will happen again let's face it it's a different fault like backlight for instance yes and we shouldn't blame the power supply ever again um, and backlight will need a replacement so you see guys even though sometimes you might be right with your diagnosis that yeah power supplies has issue if it's an older tv it can guys for real for real give you uh, false information that it will work but it won't be necessarily um, power supply it might be backlight because backlight is consuming more amperes and overusing the 
uh, the power supply okay so I, I need to speak to this customer as well does he want to risk uh, ordering only the power supply or quitting on the repair or replacing any power supply and the backlight because that will be on to him if he will say Peter I want to only replace the power supply I'll say yes no problem but if this problem will happen again then it's a it's a second time and I know that this guy who sold us then wasn't have an issue with a power supply I will know that the issue was caused by the backlight guys and I would like to check what's wrong with this power supply either MOSFETs failed I don't think the driver because there is still 24 volts so I would say it's not the most it's it's most likely MOSFETs which doesn't open close efficiently anymore because they were overused because too much current was drawn by those LEDs and probably you know uh, it was working for some time but the efficiency of the maybe cooling system should be better which wasn't so that's why maybe they died I didn't test it that's my theory behind it uh, and to be true uh, if if I would have time I don't know if I will find time I've got this old power supply from the customer I can try to test this theory and if that's true I would replace it and see if those were the MOSFETs if that would be the MOSFETs um, I would say I would say then I can let that customer know to check the MOSFETs as well who sold us a power supply because maybe only MOSFETs died yes if only MOSFETs died you get a good power supply pretty much by replacing those MOSFETs and uh, MOSFETs are cheap you know they are not dear so fixing this power supply is still worth the money uh, but if I'm right if I'm wrong then there's another issue if somebody have better idea about it please comment down below but that's it in this episode that's everything if this will turn out as a good product for you seem to quit or something let's say 250 for the argument's sake uh, then I'll make a video about it because this is cheap and uh, I hate the waste but what better we can do than that you know like if you don't need great quality if you need something cheap robust and then I think that's that's good yes because you could use your old mobile phone or old iPhone yes and install software uh, I don't remember the name of the software but you could use that software and uh, it could literally make CCTV this way yes but you need to know what you're doing with this you just set it up and you forget yes so that's that's easier guys 18 minutes let's call it a day you've got quite a few updates what's going on I uh, got too much work and I need to go back to it thank you for watching see you in the next video maybe no update for at least one to two weeks so yeah I don't know what else because there is no more videos planned for the moment so I need to think of the topics what to do maybe I'll find a time for that inverter though because that would be nice to see having one pure sign inverter here because I could run this PC of the inverter I've made that would be nice see you later guys bye bye